Hi, this is Anthony from Evo Tech Pacific, and in this video, we're going to quickly 3D scan a large gemstone. So, uh, the very first thing we do after we have loaded our gemstone into the uh, onto the plate, uh, we can click on this part here. We'll give this a name. Test Gem One. We'll just call this Number One. Single item scan, HD scan, and we'll hit apply. Now the scanner will move to its position where it will give us a preview of the piece and you can see that we have uh, simply uh, put the gemstone onto some uh, media here. This is a uh, media similar to Bluetack and uh, what we need to do is just adjust our plane by just moving our slider up. I don't want to get any of the Bluetack if I can help it. Uh, we will be doing a second scan of this uh, where we flip the gem upside down and uh, we'll do the opposite side. So now that we've got that there we can simply hit the tick and the scanner will go through its motions of collecting the data of that uh, checkerboard cut gemstone. Okay, so now that uh, scan has finished, we can flip the gem upside down, and by doing so, we'll probably need to give it another light coating of the Acer Blue scanning spray. So I will pause the video while we do that. Okay, so we flip the gemstone uh, on its table, so that the table is now uh, sitting on the media, and we can simply click on the scan button so that it uh, scans the culet of the gemstone and enables us to capture the full gem
Okay, so now that that scan has completed, uh, we can see what we've got here. We've got the uh, the bottom half, or the uh, the girdle and the uh, culet and pavilion of the uh, of the checkerboard cut gem. And so I'm happy with that. I'm going to then hit the tick button and move along to our aligning page which will provide us with a scan of each the bottom and the top there which looks like that I don't think this will be hopefully too difficult to align up so what I'm going to do is uh, zoom on in and just select say a section there section there and uh, let's see if that uh, is all that it takes yeah kind of works for me Alright, so if you're happy with that, we can simply hit the tick there. And there is the rough scan of our stone. Again, we can come up to the uh, the top here and adjust our quality, uh, how smooth we want that to be. Take that to about 22. Uh, this shouldn't really be too much to denoise. We might just take that to about say three and uh, depending on how large you want the file to be you can decimate it uh, down a little but by decimating it you're uh, you're also taking potentially some of the detail away from it so uh, I'll leave that at a hundred percent and click on the complete button which will register both of the scans wrap uh, the scan together and create a watertight surface for us to uh, to be able to import as an STL into your chosen software whether that be Matrix Gold, Matrix Rhino Gold or any other software program that accepts the importation of STL files.
Okay, so now that that's finished wrapping, we can just check it out, make sure that we're happy with everything there. And that looks pretty good to me. So we can now hit the save button. And that will save there for us under our test gem folder. And we can now import that into the software of our choice. I hope that helps.